Kite Day. Which means, obviously, it's it's time for more tanks. Really, if, if I thought about it a bit harder, I would have played a game with the Valentine, and I would have been like, oh, it's Pancake Day, let's celebrate it with a Valentine. No. So back to the Panzer IV, our suffered... Panzer IV H. Again, I, I really need to look up what the correct, that like how you're supposed to pronounce this because my German is atrocious. Um, my attempts to pronounce German are even worse. It's a miracle that I can even say the word Panzer. Actually, I think I'm even struggling with that. So, last time I sort of mentioned and discussed this tank, I was talking about how it's a classy sort of a classy tank, and I realised. It still is a classy looking tank, and I'm, I'm kind of seeing it in terms of the, the looks, the loosh, the, the, the looks. The big brother of that cute little scout tank is kind of, it's, this, this tank is worldly. It knows what's going on, and in this game I figured what I'll do as part of my operation, try and get slightly better at this game. My plan was, what I'll do is I'll follow these guys around. I'll join like a little group of medium tanks and together we're going to go and take names and kick ass. Now what I wasn't honestly expecting, apart from my inability seemingly to hit a T-34 that's completely filling, almost completely filling my reticle, what I wasn't actually counting on was how good the other people on this flank were. I'm not sure I should probably check whether or not they were like a platoon or something. But while I was busy getting distracted, as you can see, getting distracted and staring at things at the city, the other, the three other mediums were busy. Well, busy taking names. It looks like I thought, okay, I'm gonna, I, I need to get in on this. It's another Panzer IV H, you know, and. There doesn't really seem to be a huge amount to cover in the city. We kind of whoever was dealing with that seems to have done a reasonable job. And and there's people hiding up in like that sort of little courtyardy bit in the center, which is hard for me to shoot at. And this flank is is, is going surprisingly well. Normally. Actually, at this point, I think I looked at the corner of the map, sort of like the corner of the map, and went, oh shit, hold on, there's, there's something evidently going wrong on the right hand flank. But I'm not going to worry about that, I'm just going to focus on, you know, kicking ass and taking names, picking damage and whatever I can, and hoping that they'll get picked, which they do, they get picked off. The right hand flank seems to have so so far, and as ever, I see a cliff and I drive down it. We didn't even scratch them. Critical hit. And I think this is one of my sort of like favourite situations in World of Tanks, where you've got a pack of sort of medium tanks basically harassing the shit out of a heavy who's out on his own. His tank destroyer support is dead and or hiving. All the other heavies are on the, the left hand side and I feel for that guy in the heavy because I know in my heart of hearts that I too would have been someone who spotted what was going on on, the, on that flank and went oh shit someone's got to defend it might as well be me. Now speaking of coming into defend, the SPG that I wanted to hunt down and kill is already long long dead. So, by kind of consensus, we agree to sit in the cap circle. Now, I, s I park my tank in what I think is actually a very clever place, but it turns out to be incredibly stupid because I'm about to get jumped up and down on by some tanks coming to stop our cap, which is the right thing for them to do. Take a nasty hit from T-34, and I... and he keeps going for me. But fortunately, again, two other, the, the two other mediums have my back all the time through this game. So, we won, but I kind of feel like my ass was carried, carried throughout that one.
It is a plucky little tank though. 